What's up, Mindseed fans? Today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video to a Nuke's Top 5 Scare Video compilation. So I'm gonna throw on my headphones and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Enjoy. This particular video by Nuke is called Five Ghost Videos So Scary You Can't Watch Them All. So, challenge accepted, sir. Let's, let's check it out. All this shit's always Top really five well done, put together. On camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok user Sabrina C. Coven claims that her apartment has a history of strange occurrences. Doors open and close on their own, and drawers slide open when no one is around. Then one hmm. night, Sabrina captures something absolutely shocking on her CCTV this camera. This game is always on point, At too. At 41 in the morning, Sabrina's cat is quietly walking through the living room. When this happens. What the fuck? That thing lost its fucking mind. Cat sounds like a demon. That was some weird shit. It almost looks as if Sabrina's cat is thrown into the air and then dragged into the dining room. What the The cat violently fuck? hisses as though it's being attacked, and the other pets become very disturbed as well. Then a chair seems to move from under the table all on its own. Sabrina oh. is woken up by the commotion and checks to see what chair. happened. Luckily, all of her pets are unharmed. Look at the fucking chair. But when Sabrina looks at the CCTV footage, she Hell is no. baffled. Sabrina says that it would have been absolutely impossible for this particular cat to leap into the air like that. Yeah, and who would see, set their cat up this cat to do some shit like that? cat is missing one of its legs. What so, the fuck? what do you think could have happened to Sabrina's cat? Let me know How down in the comments. How did you find this shit? That's in insane. This next video, the, chair, the, the chair took it over the top for me. And travels to a popular haunted house in Indonesia. The house sat abandoned for 20 years. Looks spooky. Then it was chosen as the set of a popular Indonesian horror movie called Satan's Slaves. The director of the movie, Joko Anwar, says that he's a skeptic when it comes to the paranormal. Mm. But he also says that he experienced strange, unexplainable things inside the house while they were filming. After the release of the popular horror movie, the house has become somewhat of a tourist attraction for paranormal enthusiasts who have heard the strange stories about the home. As TikTok user NBAAN is exploring the allegedly haunted grounds, like a she accidentally captures something truly bizarre. Ada yang tahu rumah ini? Rumah hmm. pengabdi setan. Nih, I pengabdi. <laughs> Did you see it? No. In the balcony opening, a bizarre pale figure can be seen staring down at them. What makes the figure's what? appearance even stranger is the way it seemingly just floats backwards into the house without even turning. That's a fucking trip. The tech user NBAAN says she didn't see the figure at the time and that her friend later pointed it out to her as they were reviewing the footage. So is this mysterious house really haunted? Or... Is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know, man. You decide. If you That's see a, a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The woman in the room. Facebook user <laughs> Abiud Hernandez Alvarez has experienced some truly terrifying paranormal activity in his mm -hmm. apartment in Mexico City. In a previous top five, we looked at the terrifying incidents that he has shared on Facebook. Hmm. The videos feature the supposedly supernatural sounds of an unseen woman walking through Abiud's apartment, slamming doors and throwing objects. The video shocked the everyone clicking. who watched them. 
Abiud has since posted new videos. He claims that he is not especially scared by the creepy paranormal incidents in his home and only wants to document the activity. However, he does admit that the quote, thing, as he calls it, Zia. has started to get just a bit out of control. On June 27th, Remainder. he was able to capture a new creepy unexplained incident on camera. Está comenzando ahorita que son las 2.58 de la mañana. La luz que se alcanza a distinguir ahí al fondo es una luz que se ha estado viendo durante los últimos días. Esa luz, este, pues a pesar de que ya estuve quitando el foco, no, no desaparece, no, no vamos a ver cómo de qué es. Depende el ratito el flash para que se alcance a distinguir. Pues como pueden ver si se si sigue viendo, voy a abrir la recámara. Pues obviamente no tengo el foco como mencionaba. Tengo, hay una luz de mis vecinos, pero obviamente pues es una luz que solo se alcanza a reflejar un poquito. Some weird cortina, shit. Considero yo que no es lo suficiente como para que... What was that? Se refleje como ese es el caso. Es un reflejo pues bastante obvio. Está lo pongo de cabeza. Abiud claims that he's been seeing the strange light for several days, and on this night, he's finally able to catch it on camera. Again, it should be noted there is no light bulb in the room, and there are no other light sources that could cause the bright light that shines out from under the door of the empty dark room. I don't know about that one. Cut to another encounter. Late one night, Abiud is playing a game on his computer when he hears strange sounds coming from the other room in That's his all. apartment. This room. I don't know how this guy isn't fucking jumpier. I guess maybe he's used Did to it. Did you see it? I no. knew didn't, but his Facebook viewers definitely did. Many shocked viewers pointed out in the comments no. that for a split second as Abiud is panning his camera past Fuck a mirror, no. you can see the reflection of a woman sitting in the chair next Ooh. to the teddy bear. The same chair that he showed only seconds earlier and it was completely empty. Oh, that's... Even oh, it's more a terrifying reflection. when looking at the footage frame by frame, the woman's face actually seems to change shape as Abiud is moving his camera. What the hell? The door slams shut and when he checks behind him, the room is empty. No one there. So just where that did the mysterious woman go? Serious After problems Abiyud on captures the terrifying apparition on camera, the activity in his apartment only gets more and more intense. Abiyud begins to complain on Facebook that he hasn't been able to sleep and that, quote, she won't leave him alone. After Time many move, suggestions homie. by his viewers, Abiyud decides to place some flower in front of the room where the female apparition was recorded. He attempts to call out to her spirit while recording it all live on his Facebook page. It did not go well. It's crazy he just uses Facebook for all this. flash. Voy a cerrar la puerta un momento. Hmm. Hola. Hola. 
¡Hola! Necesito hablar contigo. What? Necesito hablar contigo. Ya me voy, ¿eh? What was that? Don't do it, bro. All right, do it. What a fucking trip, dude. You could see the flower move a little bit. He says it's cold. Puta madre. This is the first time he's actually reacted and been scared. Déjame salir. What? That was some weird shit. I think most people would be fucking out of this apartment. This feels like a nightmare. A fucking nightmare. I kind of want to do some research on this dude. Oh, I did not see that starting to happen. This couch is all fucked up. Says he's freezing his ass off. It's like he he pushed her and now she's no, 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 no. letting loose. Abiud has not posted a new video since this one, and some of his viewers are more than a bit concerned. But what do you think? Did Abiud capture the angry ghost of an extremely upset woman, or is it all just a very that Very clip right there elaborate hoax. is insane. You decide. There's a lot to this. There's a lot of moving Living parts. Doll. So fuck, I don't know, man. That Facebook shit was crazy. user CU Shu recently posted a very strange CCTV video from her job at an adult store in Taipei, Taiwan. Hmm. She says that when she arrived at the store early in the morning, she found many products scattered across the floor. Recently, the store has experienced some theft of merchandise. So one of CU's colleagues warns her that the thief might have returned. CU hurries to check the footage captured by multiple CCTV cameras throughout the store. What she finds shocks her to the yeah, core. CCTV stuff is crazy. Oh, at the same time. And you saw how that one just came to a sudden stop. There's some weird shit going on here. Uh-huh. I can't imagine thinking I got robbed and then I look at the cameras and see this. Rows of DVDs are just getting fucking pulled out. I'm probably missing something else too, though. There we go. I'm still thinking about that last dude and that chick he saw in the mirror. That was fucking horrible. Now what is that? Oh. Mannequin. Oh no. What?
In the middle of the night, the CCTV That's cameras captured desk chairs clip. sliding across the floor on their own, multiple objects and store products crashing down, and a cabinet door slams against one of the CCTV cameras. Creepiest mm. of all, a life-size doll kept in a glass display case moves on its own toward the camera, seemingly staring right at it. Just the fucking CU says motion. that there were no it's earthquakes weird. during the night that would explain all of the movement. Besides, nothing in the that footage seems like to vibrate as it would yeah, in an earthquake. earthquake. CU believes that the store might be haunted by something evil and asked mm. her Facebook friends what they thought she should do. So just what was this strange activity? And was it real or just a fake meant to bring attention to the store? Let me know what you think. Skeptical. This next creepy story basically takes place over a span of more than two years. So, the company High Five Studios produces five different popular YouTube channels. Back in early 2018, High Five Studios moved into a new office building in Southern mm. California. But High Five's owner and CEO, Matthias, wasn't fully aware of the creepy history of the building when they moved in. But what if I told you that I heard Stop. that actually there might be a ghost? I heard. <laughs> well, from who? I heard from the property management. Stop. <laughs> are you messing? Um, before we moved in here, they asked, okay, are you guys okay with possible rumor that there's ghosts? Sounds like he's not buying it. I said, what are you talking about? Because a long time ago, apparently the previous tenants passed away here. Now, it should be noted that Matthias is a complete skeptic. Anytime that there's death in a building or anything, there's always a possibility of activity after the fact. So, could could be something. When it comes to anything paranormal. So you know my stance. I don't think there are ghosts around here. I think there's an explanation for everything. But strange things immediately start to happen around we'll the high five eyes. offices. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. Now what do you think, Matthias? <laughs> You don't and think it's very funny anymore, do you, Matthias? Things get even stranger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yo, stop. What that? Matt, why are you trying, why are you trying to troll us right now? That was not me. This looks very creepy. This is a 302. I'm not seeing any. Dude, so there's no fun. movement whatsoever. No, no, no. There's no movement. Dude! Dude, stop. No, you. I just got chills. You didn't do that? How could I do that? I wasn't there. Dog, I'm stressing That's, right now. We gotta get the heck out of that here. That was right? while we were downstairs. Yeah, that was the noise we heard. That was the noise we just heard, yeah. Wait, yeah. replay that, replay that, replay that. That paint roller. It's like a paint roller. Mm hmm. Dude, how did it flip that way? How does it. I'm getting chills. So now, even the high five student. The full armed himself with a fucking board. <laughs> Time goes. Studio staff starts to get a bit freaked out. You think Hi-Fi Studios is haunted? I'm never staying here past art. Stop. Yeah. Oh, he a believer. Throw it up. <laughs> I mean, I was here, I know it's haunted. You watched the vlog, right? Yeah, the thing that yeah. flew across the nest. Yeah. yeah! It was scary! But Matthias is still completely unconvinced that there is anything remotely oh, Matthias, paranormal going on. Overnight, at Hi-Fi Studios, in the pitch black dark, no one was messing with it, and like this broom fell over like this. Boom. Like, how does that happen? It could have been a cat in the studio. I mean, a cat's pretty doubtful. There's never been evidence of a cat, but you, you get what I'm saying. But I really don't think there are ghosts, even though there's been some spooky things happening. How do you even ghost hunt? Sounds like a fun night in the studio, but I don't even know how to do that. So all the clips you just saw Can were you posted tell? to YouTube over two years ago in June 2018. Unfortunately, there was never an actual paranormal investigation of the High Five Studios building. Oh! That is, until just this month. Oh, I was After multiple say. requests from fans over the last two years, Matthias and the High Five Studio team decided to do an overnight ghost hunt in their building. What you're about to witness is... strange. They locked Sick. themselves inside for the night. Well, fuck, I wish we would have known. We would have fucking knocked that shit out of the park. And then things get truly bizarre. What the heck? What Hannah, the heck? Hannah. Wait, come here. Hannah? That can't be real. Hannah? 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 Why, why is he... <laughs> what are you hiding? Come over here. Don't go in that area. What area? Which what area? area? No, right there. Don't go This looks like no, a creepy... This that was quite the screen. Why? What are you talking about? I why? saw a really big shadow. 
Was it your shadow? Where? No, and it was approaching the door. <laughs> was, it, oh. was it your shadow? For real? No, I thought it was, but I was approaching the door and it tried to open the door. The shadow tried to open the door? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm getting weirded out. High Five team member Hannah mm. claims that she saw a terrifying shadow figure trying to open one of the doors. Maybe you should listen to Hannah, Matthias. She fucking sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Matthias sets up a laser grid to detect movement and aims the camera oh, toward the sick. wall where Hannah saw the dark apparition. See, they did it. They did when it. They checked the camera footage right. several hours later. They are all shocked by huh. what they find. Huh, Matthias, Whoa, you found something, huh, buddy? Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm already like, oh, fuck. Truly chilling. Okay, so we have, we have the door shut. <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I can't the, the watch it again. What? Walking like crazy, and then, and then this door shuts. No, no, no. Something seems to pass right that through their laser grid on crazy camera. Looking. First one door slams shut, then the laser lines distort, then the other door slams shut. It should be noted again that this is the same area where Hannah saw the shadow figure earlier. And with that evidence, weird looking. they decide to abandon know. their overnight investigation and just get out of there. Tina said, I don't want to stay overnight. <laughs> well, let's pack it up and let's pack it up and go. So we need after to reach two out years, to it would seem that there is finally some the proof that up. the High Five Studios might be haunted. But what makes this video even more compelling is that the CEO Matthias still basically says, nope. I'm not gonna mm. go out here on a limb and say, yeah, High Five Studios is haunted. <laughs> Why are you talking like that, dude? Don't be like that. Um, we need to reach out to High Five Studios and go on and get it over there. There's a realistic explanation. There always is. So maybe it was well, just denial. Turns out Or maybe not, it was all but... just random coincidence and some strange camera glitch. Hmm. You decide. You can watch Matt's full investigation of the High Five Studios that over on crazy. his channel, Matthias. I think it's good viewership. Graveyard shift. Number one, baby. You probably remembered. Said we couldn't watch them all, Nuke, but watch this. Joshua Runyon from the YouTube channel Paranormal Security 9886. That is a Joshua weird channel. Joshua recorded and posted multiple viral videos while he was working as a night shift security guard That's actually at an really old dope cemetery in Savannah, Georgia. Here's a very quick recap of the spooky incidents that he caught on camera. So, I'm actually hearing something banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm going to catch it. Some <laughs> door was open again. Hello, security. Oh, no. Hey, you need to come out. I'm not playing anymore. So, don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm about to check this out. Okay, guys. Did you hear that? Help. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I'm f***ing done. Um, this is some spooky f***ing sh going on here. After going through some tough times with his old YouTube channel, Paranormal Security 9886 is back with a brand new channel and brand new videos of the supernatural activity that still continues to haunt the Georgia Cemetery where he works. This is a good find. In a two-part video series, he goes on a routine patrol through the dark graveyard, live streaming everything to his YouTube channel. Live streaming? During the live stream, he puts down his phone just to see what happens when he walks away. However, he soon returns in a panic as he begins to hear odd noises coming from somewhere in the graveyard. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because I'm hearing something. What? A strange whimpering what a moan job. can be heard from somewhere. A bit later, Joshua tries the same technique and leaves the phone behind as he walks off. And more strange noises. Okay, guys, 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 guys. I want y'all to hear this. That's crazy, it was a live stream. <gasps> oh, was that a headstone? Am I just like overreacting to a headstone? Y'all hear that too, or is that just me?
Joshua starts to freak out a bit as the faint voice of a child what a, can what be a heard crazy singing. Looking place. Even stranger, the voice seems to change direction and even distance with every step that Joshua takes. But creepiest of all is what Joshua didn't hear or see. One of his live stream viewers had a very good eye oh, and spotted no. something truly bizarre. I just, I just do not know, guys. Oh no! How, how do you catch that on a live stream? Did you see it? When the footage is slowed down, we see the dark, hunched-over figure of someone dressed in black. How the fuck do you catch the that during a live stream? The figure seems to be standing at one of the gravestones, watching Joshua from the darkness. Even stranger, what a trip. when you compare the size of the gravestone to the size of the figure, it seems to be about the height of a young child. But what do you think this could Weird. be? You can check out the full two-part video series and many know, more man. creepy That's videos over on Joshua's new YouTube channel, Paranormal Security 9886. An interesting channel for sure all right y'all that's gonna be it for this one i really enjoyed watching this video with you guys i really enjoyed reacting to it some crazy shit in there you know and it makes you think is it legit is it not there's always gonna be that question but man some of that stuff on there was freaky the dude in the facebook apartment i'll just call it the facebook apartment with the figure in the mirror that one was the one to me that just really stuck so fuck that's crazy if you guys like the video you know what to do like the video subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this and of course comment below and let me know what you guys think if there's any other particular videos you want me to react to just leave it in the comments that's gonna be it thanks